What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to be talking about tire size and adjusting it so your speedometer matches up to the actual speed that you're going. Now, if you put bigger or smaller tires on your truck, um, when you're driving around, of course, the truck might say you're going 60 miles an hour, uh, but if you've got bigger tires, then you're really going maybe 65 or faster. Um, and if you've got smaller tires, of course, then it's the opposite. Now, it's important to change this because if you don't, then your truck might not drive uh, the best that it can because the transmission doesn't know exactly where it needs to be uh, because of your tires. So after changing the tire size and telling the truck the proper tire size, a lot of users report uh, improved drivability as well as better gas mileage. Now to do this, you're going to need Alpha OBD. And of course, if you don't know what that is, take a look down below and watch that video and you'll learn all about it. Uh, but for those that do know, let's go ahead and get started. All right, now the first thing that you wanna do is go ahead and plug everything in and connect your interface, depending on if you're using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Then from here, you go ahead and select, select your vehicle, Dodge slash Ram, and then 2500, 1500, 3500, whatever you've got. Uh, for this one, we are going to be using the body computer, which was selected, and the control unit, of course, will vary for you depending on uh, which vehicle, but once you figure out which body computer you have, then you'll always be using that one. Okay, from here, we're going to hit connect, and there we are. We're connected now, and we're going to go and click on the hood open icon, and from here, we'll select a procedure to start, and we're going to be looking for program tire size, and there we go towards the bottom. They do have some preset options that you can see here, basically, that you could choose. Um, they don't have every tire, but they do have many. So if your tire happens to be on there, you can go ahead and select that. Or you can do what I'm going to do and enter in the tire size uh, myself. Now, you can use the link down below to tell you uh, approximately what tire size in millimeters you should be. Um, but you might need to adjust this a couple of times up or down because not all 35 inch tires are exactly 35 uh, and so on and so forth. Now, last time I entered my tires, I put 2712 and that was off by just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and try uh, 2714 this time. And then I'll go ahead and hit next and I can hit start again just to verify. So now it shows 2714. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and back out. So we'll go here, hit disconnect and you can cycle your key. So now you can go ahead and hear the truck turning back on. Now, once everything comes back online, you're gonna be getting a lot of errors and things flashing in your dashboard, uh, ABS, four wheel drive, you know, all this stuff that needs to be checked. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be dinging and it's kind of scary, but don't worry about it. We're gonna fix that right now. So what we're gonna go ahead and do this time is back out to the home page here. We're gonna select everything that we did before, but instead of body computer, we're going to be choosing ABS. And then the control unit is going to be the ABS ATE slash Continental, go and hit connect. And again, more things are beeping, saying service electronic braking system, uh, and this will continue to flash and beep at you. So again, don't be too worried. Now we're gonna go and hit the hood open button, and then we're going to select ABS initialization. And there it is, so select that. And you can read through the, uh, Directions here, hit start. After that, we're gonna go back to the menu here and select static ECU. Initialization right here. Go ahead and hit start. It will show procedure complete. Now we're going to click on the check engine little button here and we're going to clear all faults. It will then ask if the uh, engine is off and the key is in the correct position. Go ahead and hit yes. Then we're gonna go ahead and cycle the key. So go ahead and turn it back off and then turn the engine back to run again. Now I still show as being connected, so that is fine. We're gonna go back to the hood open again. And this time we're going to select clearing roles information, which is down on the very bottom. So hit that, hit start, and then it will show procedure completed. So once you've done that, then we're going to go and click on the check engine again. We're gonna clear out all the faults again. And from there, you can go ahead and disconnect. So now when you start your vehicle back up, you should be able to drive around and go ahead and uh, of course compare it to your phone or another GPS that you know is accurate. And then again, you might need to make some adjustments here and there uh, up or down in the millimeter size um, to get everything accurate and perfect. 
And of course, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you in the next video.